this and this. We got another book haul, y'all. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Cuss, it's there either. And today, as you saw, we're doing another manga haul, right? Today is the 2nd of June. <laughs> I also just posted my May manga haul part two video. So this is obviously part three. I don't know what the hell happened to me the last week of May, but I went buck wild as usual. But I know that this has got to stop, okay? I'm basically putting myself on a little on a little cleanse in the month of June. Not saying I'm going on a book buying ban. I am going to set some parameters for myself though. And those parameters are going to be, girl, the only thing that you can buy, if you're gonna buy something, is any new releases that come out in June that you already had on your wish list. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any of the things on that damn list, but <laughs> I know that there's at least like five volumes that are coming out in June that I really want to read. I'm pretty sure Kowloon comes out this month and there's another one. I'll put some pictures up. Okay, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the list up for y'all since I can't remember, but I'm not going to completely ban myself because I know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to go crazy again. I'm just going to keep it easy and have an easy month of June where I just accept what I have because I have a lot and keep it pushing. All right. So yes, this is a huge manga haul. The last of May because May is over. And some of these I bought myself, like all those bags that y'all saw at the beginning, those I got from the store that was closing the Barnes and Noble. I think that was fair. Okay. It was a closing store. What do you expect me to do? Okay, I've never actually bought books from a bookstore that was closing before. So it's like, come on. That's just too tempting. Too tempting. But Dev and I also went on a date last week and we went to Second and Charles. So he got me some stuff. All of that was on sale. You know, it was used. So that's pretty nice. Got a few other things. A Books A Million and Barnes & Noble. A one that wasn't closing. But yes. So I've bought a lot. And I'm going to try really, really hard in the month of June not to do this again because I really do need to slow down. Because even as I have been like putting my office, you know, together again, I still have a pile of books over there. I have no idea where any of these books are going to go. So at the end of the day, like I actually do need a break <laughs> so I can find space for all this stuff because I'm running out of it. So without further ado, let's get into this manga haul. So I want to start out with the gift that Devin got me. So this year we've actually spent more time watching anime together. We didn't really ever do that before. Like I would watch an anime, maybe he would watch it, vice versa. We would talk about it. We weren't really sitting down watching it together. And our friend Weepy, hi Weepy, recommended this anime to us. And as soon as I saw the first episode, I turned to Devin and I said, I want to read that if that's a manga. I don't care if it's a light novel. I don't care if it's a manga. I want to read that. So he was very, very nice. I did not expect him to do this, but he got me everything that was available. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Of I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I could take my time perfecting my magical ability. I have really, oh, Jesus Christ. I have really enjoyed watching this anime. It is so good. The most recent episode we haven't watched, we're watching it tonight, so I'm really excited, but this has been such a fun anime to watch. I've really enjoyed it. I'm liking the character so far. If you haven't watched this yet, but you've been interested, maybe you've seen it, do yourself a favor and watch it because it's really good. I like it so much. I'm sure this light is like, <laughs> not doing the best to, <laughs> Maybe there's a glare. I don't care. This is a very shiny. Let me, let me switch it up. So <laughs> it's just been so much fun, especially because did I just meet this person? I don't think I did. Sad, sad story. And then there's people that I don't know and I'm really excited to make them. I'm really excited. But yeah, I, I just have to say thank you, Debbie. I really appreciate it. I know that I'm going to really enjoy this manga. 
a period. I am going to, even if for some reason I didn't, I, I'm going to make myself enjoy the hell out of this because he bought it all for me and I did not expect that. And I was so freaking nice. He went on Crunchyroll. He, he, he really did surprise me. I did not expect for him to get this. And when he told me that he bought some manga for me, I, I thought he went on like, I thought he went somewhere and found it. I thought he went on one of the wish lists, the many that I have on Crunchyroll or on Amazon and just kind of looked and bought stuff. So when I told him, oh my God, I spent so much money at the Barnes and Noble that's closing. He was like, I really hope that we did not just buy the same thing, <laughs> which has happened before. Okay. When Devin got me a bunch of the volumes of Overlord, I had already started buying it. I happened to go to Barnes and Noble to get some. He said, hey, uh, return those. And here we are, so very exciting. But yes, I'm excited to read that. I just, this was just such a good anime and I love the little demon, he's so cute. Honestly, I just can't wait to read this. So if you've read this, let me know what your thoughts are. If you've been keeping up with it as it's come out, I just know that it's going to be really fun. And if you haven't watched the anime, do yourself a favor and watch it. Like I promise you, you will like it. It's really, really, really cool. Now I'm going to talk about the stuff that we got from Books A Million and Tekken Charles. So I know that I talked about this in the <laughs> most recent manga haul that I did, but we went back to that Tekken Charles and the second volume of Toilet Bound Hanako Kun was there. I was good. I didn't get a bunch of the other volumes. I just decided to just get the second one. I just got the first one. You know, I said, oh, I'll wait. I'll take my time. No. No, because this was only eight bucks. So I went ahead and got it. Thank you very much. You know how I mentioned in the last video, I was missing two volumes from a series that I got. And I got the vast majority of those at the Second and Charles I was in Richmond. And then I found the two that I needed of Buso Rankin at the one close to my house. So I was really excited. So I got volume seven and volume eight. So now I have the series, so I'm really excited about that. I did put it on my wish list, think, like assuming like, okay, I'm not gonna get this anytime soon, but these things are six bucks, girl. This one's four. How can I pass it up to complete my thing? I'm excited. There was a sale going on at the Books of Million and it was buy one, get one half off. So I have been really wanting to read How I Met My Soulmate for a hot minute. Like ever since I saw the covers, I really knew that I wanted to read this. Okay, I'm sorry, but these covers look so good. I'm pretty sure this could be by the same person. Is this by the same person who did In the Clear Moonlit Dusk? It looks like it. It looks like it. I mean, they're just, they're just so pretty. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be more of an adult like version of that. They're not in high school. I get the impression that they're not but I don't know. Yeah, 20 years old and, and college sophomore. So I can't wait. I mean, these covers are just so pretty. I couldn't pass it up for buy and we'll get one half off because they are, no, oh, they're not that expensive. They're $12.99, but still, you know, kind of expensive. And on that same trip, I did the same thing and I went ahead and got Gazing at the Star Next Door, volume one and volume two. I saw this cover when I was in Virginia Beach with my family and Devin had been going to take me on a shopping spree. I just didn't know if I wanted it because this is $13.99, not bad, not terrible. It was a lot more expensive in Canada. I just thought it looked so cute, but I was like, do I really want it? No, so I didn't get it, but I decided to just go ahead and get it because it was buy one, get one half off. And on the back, this one literally says, a romance sure to sweep you off your feet. Perfect for fans of In the Clear Moonlit Dusk. <laughs> so In the Clear Moonlit Dusk is a series that I have and I have started reading. I think I made it to volume five, maybe. Like I've made it pretty far into the series, but they are high school students. As I've mentioned before, I'm not like against reading romance when it comes, when the people are in high school. It's just like sometimes it's hit or miss. Like In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, I like it but I don't like it as much as I like my love mix up. But I also think that I like In the Clear Moonlit Dusk more than I like Emakoi. I don't know. So I'm giving this a chance because I don't hate In the Clear Moonlit Dusk. It's just like, it's very slow. Like it's a very slow burn. Okay, they're taking their time to get to stuff. 
but I'm excited. I got a sale. What, what can I say? And now we're going right back <laughs> to the stuff I got from Second and Charles. So I got Boys Run the Riot Volume 1 and Volume 2. I'm pretty sure I've seen someone talk about this series. And I don't know. It, they, they, these were inexpensive. They were 6 and 7 bucks since I'd seen them. But I didn't really know exactly what they were about. I thought, yeah, why not? I'll give it a try. And I'm not mad at it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know then I got all of these this is all one series okay and I'm pretty sure these are the ones that Devin bought me I think Devin bought me these and boys run the riot maybe but possibly anyway so when I saw that all of these were at second and Charles that was enough for me I know you'd think that I would learn my lesson and not do this but it's just something so tempting when you see a large like amount of one series it's just so tempting to just get it what can I say and once I pulled out the volume and I saw the cover I was like <gasps> drop dead gorgeous okay absolutely stunning and for eight bucks how the hell how the hell can I pass it up so this is a series I've literally never heard of but that is, that will never stop me Okay, it will never stop me if I never heard of something. I will get it. If the cover is pretty, <laughs> that's just how I am. Okay, girl math. Am I right? I got Tales of Wedding Rings and, oh, okay, now I see. So presented by maybe. Okay, so it's, okay, now I get it. Okay, so the, the I was like in between like, is it maybe or is it Tales of Wedding or is it maybe Tales of Wedding? It's Tales of Wedding Rings. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Look at this cover. I don't want to, I don't want to put it too close because last time my whole video was blurry. I posted it anyway because I was like, girl, I can't do this again. But, uh, I mean, who is that? Who is this? This is the one. Okay, there's a few like in this middle. Uh, who? Who are you? You are beautiful. I don't know who this is, but I want to know. Like these covers, these characters are fucking beautiful. I don't know how long the series is. No clue. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to read the shit out of this. Okay. And I will display the shit out of this because these are so freaking beautiful. If you've read this, please let me know in the comments. If you think that this is good, I, I don't even know if this is an anime as well. If it is, I'll probably watch it. But man, these freaking covers are so beautiful. Like, who is she? And we're talking, this is 10 bucks. They covered, oh, the original price was 15. Not, that, not terrible. This one, seven bucks. I mean, come on. Now, I don't know why this one was seven and another one, but it doesn't matter, okay? And I don't know, is this the last one? You know, sometimes like the cover makes it look like it's the last. That looks like the last to me, but... I'll do some research later, but that is so pretty. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. I'm sorry. <sighs> so that was what was on the left side of me. Now let's talk about what's on the right side because I'm not done. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'll try to go, I don't think I need to go too fast, but I'll try to make it go fast. Okay. All of this is from the Barnes and Noble that was closing. Okay. Bittersweet because I really, really love that Barnes and Noble. I would always visit it when I would go to work. It was in this beautiful brick building. Like that whole shopping center where this one was is so pretty. So I'm really, really sad that it's most that it's most likely going to be turned into a TJ Maxx. Ugh, I can't stand a TJ. I, I don't even go in there. So no offense to people who do. I, I people like it. People love TJ Maxx. Like like people love Target. Okay. I don't like Target either. <laughs> I don't like shopping in places like that. I like going to bookstores. A lot less chaos. And unfortunately, that's probably what's going to turn into. A, a TJ Maxx or a Home Goods, which is the same freaking store. But who am I? And I guess they're all kind of like Target. I don't know. So RIP to the Barnes & Noble. I spent a lot of money at you. And let's talk about everything else I bought there. So I'll try to do like a bit of a rapid fire with y'all. Some of these, no rhyme or reason, like the cover, picked it up. Or, oh, I think I kind of wanted that. No thoughts, just just get buying. 
I got my Ultramarine Sky. I do think I've heard someone talk about this. I did read volume one of The Witch and the Beast, so I decided to just go ahead and get volume two and volume three. I liked it. And this is an anime now, right? I'm pretty sure. I did like the first volume. I thought it was very interesting. I went ahead and, and I knew I was going to do this, okay? If this was still there, I knew I was going to buy this and got volume three and volume four of the light novel, The Haunted Bookstore, Gateway to a Parallel Universe. I talked about in my last haul video that I was going to get this. <laughs> that if I went back there and that was still there to the Barnes and Noble closing, I was going to buy it. And I almost certainly did. So even though I said to myself, okay, honey, just start with the first two volumes. Well, the store's closing. So why don't I just get the next two of Boys Run the Riot? <laughs> so I got volume three and volume four. So now I have the first four volumes of the series. I don't know how long it is. I don't care. I bought it anyway. This one, this one I have actually been wanting to buy. So I don't feel bad about just kind of pulling these off the shelf. I have been wanting to read Summertime Rendering for a long time. All they had was volume three, volume five, and then volume six, which I believe is the final one. So I have the, I have three of the six, three, five, and six. So eventually I will get the other ones. I have a feeling I could definitely find, cross my fingers, I can find the first few volumes that I'm missing at like Second and Charles that were used. I've heard so many good things about summertime rendering. So I don't feel bad about getting them. Okay, I don't. I've also put off watching the anime because I really want to read it instead. I also knew that if I came back and these volumes were there, I was going to buy them. So I went ahead and got most of what I didn't have from Kakaguri that was there. So I got volume four, five, six, and seven. I love this anime. I know it's, I know it's a wild ride, but I love it. And I knew that I wanted to get the manga when I, when I first watched it. I'm re-watching it with Devin. He's never seen it before. I know I didn't necessarily need, you know, but that's not here nor there. Okay. I, do we need anything? Really? We do. We do need knowledge and books. Period. <laughs> we do. No one's going to tell me otherwise. Not even myself. In the hopes for me to not spend so much fucking money. <laughs> so I also went ahead and got volumes six, seven, and eight of Given. I think at this point I'm basically missing, I think I'm missing volume five. I think that's the only one I don't have. And that's, I guess, exciting. <laughs> I have heard so many people talk about Given. And honestly, I feel like I keep hearing like mixed reviews from people. Some people really love it. Some people are just kind of indifferent. Some people hate it. I'm willing to give it a try. This one, I'm having a really hard time finding, but I have been wanting to get this for a while. And it's Yarichin Bitch Club. All I could find was volume four. That's fine. I don't know how many volumes this is. I don't care. I'm excited. I want to read this. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, we're getting her. Also, Secret XXX. Uh, I just recently saw someone talking about this on something. I said, oh, okay, it's here. Well, we're buying it. I also got Old Fashioned Cupcake. I'm pretty sure I have with Cappuccino already. I hope I have with Cappuccino already because then I have two of the same thing. It's fine. Went ahead and got volume five of Black or White. Just slowly getting as many volumes of this as I can. Also got Love Nest volume one and volume two. I'm excited. I can't wait for this one. I think it's going to be really good. Now, this is one that I've been wanting for a while. I saw the covers so long ago and I thought, ooh, I really want that. But I kept putting it off because I didn't know. But, you know, at that point I was like, well, shit, let me just go ahead and get it because the damn store's closing. So I got Can't Stop Cursing You. Volume one, two, three, and four. I'm pretty sure that this is all the series. So it's four volumes. If you've read this, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts were. Do you think it's something that should be like prioritized with for reading because it's really good? I am going to try to get better about reading anything that I have, that I have all of it now. Because I really just need to do that. I got volume two of The Detective is Already Dead. My husband got me the first volume, I think for Christmas. So I went ahead and got that. 
I also went ahead and got volume five of Oshinoko. Yes, I still need to read the first volume. Yes, I need to watch the anime. Don't judge me. I also got Rosenblood volume four. I actually really like this series. I've read the first three volumes and I mean, it's slower. It's not the best thing I've ever read, but I enjoy the first few volumes, so I like it. I'm still looking for volume two, but I went ahead and got Simel Paris volume three. Devin got me the first volume for Christmas, so I need to read it, but I don't know. I wanted to get it. I wanted to get it because it was there. Can't find volume two anywhere though. I'm sure it, it's on one of my wish lists, but you know. I also got, these are things I can't tell you. I think that this might be a one shot. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to read it nonetheless. So yeah, that was, that was 64 volumes. <laughs> oh man. That May was fucking crazy, dude. I don't know how much I talked about. I don't know how much I bought in the first manga haul or the second manga haul. Honestly, more than a hundred. It had to have been considering this is already 64. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have no idea where the hell I'm gonna put all this, <laughs> but it's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> so yes that was my manga haul. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much in general. I, I thank you. Thank you for watching all the good stuff. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you like, like, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on other social media. It's in the description box down below and you have a good day. Goodbye.